she get off the plane? Did she get off the plane? I got off the plane. She got off the plane, Ross and Rachel ending it together, and that's why Friends makes our list of the top 25 finales of all time. Here's some highlights from the countdown. We have to kick off with the Friends episode, the last one, which comes in at 21. Even though it broke up the gang by sending Monica and Chandler off to the suburbs with their adopted twins, it also reunited Ross and Rachel. This is it. This is it. Unless we're on a break. And more importantly, the show left us with the sense that the six BFFs would always be there for each other. And for us, eventually, 17 years later. I had a major crush on Jen. Was we both, separated. at some point, we were both crushing hard on each other. Now let's head to the good place at number 15 on our list, which wrapped on a lovely philosophical note. There's one conception of death for a Buddhist. The wave returns to the ocean. Eleanor and the gang decided to end their eternal existences by walking through a door in a serene redwood forest. Come on, even heaven gets old after a while. We laughed, we forking cried, and a certain not a girl, not a robot made us do both. I hate to see you walk through the final door at the edge of existence, but I love to watch you leave. There we go. But then again, all good things must come to an end. Barely beating out the good place at number 14 is All Good Things, the Star Trek The Next Generation finale that aired in 1994. Captain Picard time jumped through three eras of his life and realized that humanity's trial was still underway from way back in the series premiere. <sighs> Forking Q. Most definitely, yes. Jean-Luc came out on top and even fit in a poker game with the crew before the credits rolled. You can't spell finale without Felina, and we could do a three-hour video on why the end of Breaking Bad is number 12 on our list. But here's our favorite part. Walter White finally admitted to Skyler that he didn't deal meth for the family. I did it for me. I liked it. I was good at it. And now for the biggest flash forward of all time and the only show that could possibly take the number one spot on our list, Six Feet Under, still the champ after 16 years. Everyone's waiting did the impossible. Just two episodes after Nate died, we jumped ahead to show the deaths of all the major characters and somehow, some way, it was actually uplifting. Those are just some highlights, so head over to TV Line right now for the full list and drop your pick for the best finale of all time in the comments. That Janet? What? For TVLine.com, I guess. And in honor of The Good Place, which should have been number one, I'm Bad Keisha saying, suck it, losers. Bye!